the madman. The goddess calls. Well, let's start with servitude. Very strong pain. Hmm, it's the duel of the force. What do I think is better, four mana five six or four mana three five? I mean, the hoarding dragon being fat lets the priest kill it too, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I guess draconid operative coming through is a thing. All right, well, small lean towards the dragon, I guess. Oh, rewarded. Oh, double rewarded. Oh god, rewarded, but take the middle card? Question mark. Ah, ah, it, it pained me. I right, got two mana two five, three mana two five, or three mana four two. I get to choose the trade. Oh, it comes down to do I like three mana two fives or three mana four twos more. This one has more stats, therefore it's better. Something like that. Night spawn. A Famber. Can't believe Hearth Arena has Holy Nova priced that high. Hmm, Twilight's Call for the Hoarding Dragons. Seems bad. Shadow or Death better than Potion of Madness? Question mark? Go with Death. I think it's close. Other Pain. We don't have much early game yet, so it's not like I can go two drop into Elixir. It's close. Not steal, I guess. Over two again. Shadow Visions is just too slow for a deck. All these spells are a little bit worse when you have to pay two for them, two extra. Three from Amber is the only way to trigger Arcane Tyrant. Chemist. Go Commando over Second Silence. So if I have no one or two drops, I'll go Oracle, I suppose. Damn it. Temple of Force is a very strong card. Strongest card, best debatable. Ooh, Cabal Shadow Priest, tracking it off of Dustbreaker again. Holy Toledo. No, another Cabal Shadow Priest for me. Been shaping. Cabra. Embrace Darkness, as I don't have that many minions with tentacles on. Wasp. Given that my entire deck has so little early game plays, and the Crystalline Oracle is a great Cardonix Bishop too. Then I go the Bishop. And I needed fives. You're gonna need catch-up cards. Shadow Madness is one of those. Five drop. Fungal Mancer isn't very good in this deck. Do I need a Violet Worm? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have a lot of uh, late game already. Still go Worm anyways, since the other ones are pretty meh. Most of the cards I resurrect are going to be better than Infested Torn. Or Servitude, I suppose. And a big priest here. And Forbidden Shaping again, I suppose. It's a really, really good late game deck, but the problem is getting there. And I think the problem of getting there is so high that I'm just going to guess 7. The amount of late game cards I have in this deck is actually gross. Because I usually just quickly count the cards 5 and higher. But Thought Steel and Eternal Servitudes are also late game cards. So if I consider that, if I consider those four late game cards, yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 late game cards. And if I consider the Cabal Courier late game card, oh, and the two Forbidden Shapings, then we have 18 late game cards. And then the Silence is, you know, just utility. So we only have 11 early game cards? Oh, mind breaker to the rescue. My two men too fast. Pay attention, class. Value Shadow Word Madness. Or not Shadow Word Madness, but Shadow Word Pain. Or Shadow Madness. If I could heal, I would do the hit and then pain and then, but we'll instead do. Instruction begins. Oh, now I can internal servitude for a teacher if I want to. Two four is pointless here. Oh man, Cabal Shadow Priest would have been so good here. 
Drink the power. that ensures that this does not I mean that's basically a future 2-2 due to this one of those uh 5-8 5-3 coin heal 5-5 five, five. cool At this point, the two coins don't matter much. Yeah, thank you for telling me about that middle pixel thing. Is this whenever I forget to turn off the arena tracker score in between? Oh, it's a value card to take. And then I guess I'll just keep shirting. Read my way down the river. Seven is a pretty bad number for shaping, I think, but... How bad could it be? Runner of Second Rate Bruiser is a good card to keep in this deck, thinking about it. My best early game cards are Oracle, Cobra, Wasp, Mindbreaker. What the heck is this deck? Ugh, okay. Oh, we got all the early games, sick. Hex somewhere in that deck. Good card to get. Oh, that's a great card to get. Ugh, he fell for my second rate bruiser trap. Do I kill Mana Tide or do I kill Flame Tongue? I think we kill Mana Flame Tongue. And also. Play that. Bruiser next turn still. Hmm. Okay. Very cold hearted self totem kill. Kill the good amount of stats on my side. Root and buy, and so and <laughs> that card. 
Ember is probably better than Worm, especially since I know he's Hex somewhere in that deck. Ooh. Ho 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 ho! Triple 10! Let's go this one, I suppose. Yeah, it's pretty st hard to stop a Yasharaj from behind on the board on turn 8. Oh, right, Crackling Doom was a card. I guess he can do it for a zero mana. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna start off really strong. The mighty Frozen Minion. That is a pretty scary board. Turtle. I don't want to overcommit against Crackling Doom again. I mean, my board's all 1-1s one at least. Uh, so that was frozen again because the turn I took it, I couldn't attack, so it didn't unfreeze, and then unfroze finally on my turn. Very slow embrace from darkness, but hey, ultimately we swing an 8-8. Just lost a 8-8. Eight eight. In all honesty, taking his bomb squad is not a bad play. Eh, that's just servitude, servitude though. Oh crap, Yasharaj was in there. I'd forgotten. Priest. Oh, crackling doom again? Yeah, just lightning storm. Just gotta bust out another Yasharash. Never lucky. That is a big card. Oh, I win. Oh man, I'm not fully awake today. Right now. It's like, uh, how do I deal with the 410? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I have lethal. Ah. Someday I'm going to stop drawing early game. But okay, we drew two of the five early game cards in this deck, and we're counting Mindbreaker and Cobra as early game cards. I mean, really, Pain is an early game card too, kind of, sort of. Not ideally, though. Of my 
The slower the early game goes, the better my chances are. I think this is going sufficiently slow enough. And I had an answer to the 3-2, thankfully. Alright, opponent has a blizzard. Could be really interesting. Heal and Mindbreaker. Then he can't actually fire blast off my Cobra. That's pretty funny. You look very familiar. Alright, so next turn is the Blizzard. I can play Light Spawn into that. And the Oracle. That's fine. Why play in the Blizzard? It's not even playing in the Blizzard. I played a 1-1 one, one, and I played a card that doesn't die to Blizzard. Question now is do I want to shadow repair pain a 2-4? Eh, I'll do it. I mean it's a matter of tempo too. I managed to get up the light spawn. Her. Poison crew assemble. Okay, the punish isn't that big if he has polymorph. I only take five damage. Set myself down to nine. <sighs> Alright, I'm already pretty far ahead in terms of everything that goes into the late game. Wow, the trade man. I think those are mostly all the trades I would have made. Let's take it. The Eternal Servitude's got a lot worse. Come on, Cabal Shadow Priest. I think he indicated he doesn't have flame strike that last turn, where he did all the trades. Ready, sir. Besides, my curves are so heavy that I can commit like this. I think every single card left in my deck is almost, almost every single card left is a big card, with the exception of Silence and Thorn Pike Commando. Actually, about it. Everything else can be considered a big card in some way. Do I want an 8 or do I want a 10? With the heal, probably the 8 is better. Given that the heal is useful, I'd rather have the 8. If you insist. Quickly if you insist. 
I think uh, if I had the choice of 10 or 8, though, I would just choose... 10. Clusters go. Uh, if you insist. To battle. Get out of here, cheater. That I don't believe I'm willing to keep cast forbidden shaping as like a three or a four. Okay. One can be used on Cabal Shadow Priest. Second rate bruiser can be pseudo AoE. Eat that coin. Yeah, here comes the first game where it seems like I'm actually facing pressure. That slowed him down a lot, though, it seems, that he spent his four, four mana turn just hero powering. Is that worth silencing? I'm gonna say no. Try to hold out for something a little bit better. Didn't look like he was uh, going to trade that in this turn either. Anywho. Yo! Robbie. Awkward. Wow. A legendary. That's what I wanted. <sighs> okay, there's only one opposing target, which is good. And it's big for my mind control. I think I should cast... Ah, jeez. I don't know. Do I cast Primalist here or do I cast Violet Worm here? Ah, oh, do the sure thing, I suppose. I mean, 7-7 seven, seven against a 5-7 seven is really good, of course. And I have the Eternal Servitudes Join following this up. Oh my god. Do we let the roulette? Oh my god. Turtle Jesus, take the wheel. Turtle Jesus! Oof. It's not even that I should have traded first, because gave him more targets for death. Very good, nice swipe. Eh. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, Eternal Servitude. Wait, actually, all of those guys only count as one, don't they? 
I can't get multiple grubs offered in eternal servitude, can I? Wait, you, you do get multiple grubs? Whatever. Holy, I'm always lucky. Not a single grub. No, there's only one grub that shows up. Right? Yeah, what a swing. Class. Big swings, huge plays. Yeah, I should have thought stolen first. Whatever. I can see. <laughs> this this deck is so interesting in what it keeps. I'm keeping the three mana snake. I'm keeping the second rate bruiser. Eventually, we're going to lose to not enough early game. Eventually. Break mind? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I have the Shadow Madness next turn though. Probably send Snail into Mindbreaker. Hopefully you play a big card. The dark path is my destiny. Not big card. It'll have to do, I guess. I have a lot of catch-up cards in my hand. The Bruiser, the Ball Shadow Priest. I guess I have two. Bishop gets back either Oracle or Cobra or Snail. Alternative, play the 4-5. And the Priestess, get a 4-6. I'm gonna play the 5-on-5 five five, then. Did I say the Mindbreaker there? I didn't, but that's another possibility, which is pretty decent. 5-9 five, for 5, kind of, if you add up the stats. I'll be casting Servitude on 8 for sure. Oh, that would be such a good Cabal Shadow Priest. Ruined by that sword though. Ruined. I'm hoping 8 drop for Bin Chafing turns out really good. So I can silence the Venomancer, Venomancer, and then Cabal Sh uh, Shadow Priest it. And just silencing it is really enough though. Who knows what that is? I'll try that. Next, next, next.
Come on, Mayor. What are you doing? At 8 mana. You scumbag. Yeah, that can't be death either. Okay, ten or eight. Let me think. I think all tens lose. There are no taunts. I have to go for eight. And then servitude is just losing play. Holy cow, that one could actually save me. Let me think about that. Three from Amber. Uh, Shadow Word Pain. And this that way? Death range. Oh, he killed that. Yeah, okay. Oh, the trade man. Oh man. He can trade his way to a loss? Oh man! Oh man, we're in it! Yeah, next turn I can play both of those, so that should be best. Casual gastropod. I like it. A snail shall defeat Sogoth the Slitherer. But here's the sick thing. Doesn't even die to Sogoth. I play Peacekeeper first. Yeah, a little bit worth it. Just get the tempo up. Basically kills a recruit. It's fine. Some of the cards I stole previously. Obey. Tech volcano, sir. That's really good on that. Am I willing to burn? Yeah, to protect the... Yeah, that's fine. Protect the wasp. 
I'll run out of stuff someday. Reporting for duty. The game begins. Welcome to Treadstone. Six, nine, fifteen. Let me change your mind. This was the sickest comeback. Good old shaping into Librarian into Ain. Obey. Okay. Well, this be our. Well, this is the first game in which I have gotten zero of the cards I consider early game. Uh, I will play Forbidden Shaping on three with this hand. Yeah, I will. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> I was like, really? No, he said, yeah, it's pretty good. I wanted to hit that face, but wisely decide not to. Dark ones, all. Hmm, this time no wise. Drink the power. Okay, I'll take that. Slow mind control, but it gets there. And the early game wasn't spooky enough. Six mana, kill a 6-5, summon a 6-5. That's pretty good, even if it is super delayed. And that's why I actually thought that card had constructed uses. Evolve sure would have sucked. What? What? Actually got coins so you could play stuff. Let me change your mind. Mm. Yeah, Chalmer decks have been pretty good. What was that matched up again? Do I try to servitude again? What do I have in here? Oh, nice. I promise eight cards, two of which are coins. I have to deal with his five cards with my three cards. It's gonna be tough. And 
we can make it to the late game. And I'm the king of the late game. Every single one of my cards is late game, other than Mindbreaker right now. Long Ball Shadow Priest. Barring that, it's a decent pain target. And then we'll go 8 shaping. Hmm. Sure, let's go that way. You're the boss, King Crush. King Crush, kind of, sort of. Rockbiter? Whoa. Whoa there. Hmm. Holy Nova is decent. Devour Mind. Pretty good. Oh. But if he has Bloodlust, it's only 14 damage. The fact that he was willing to use Rockbiter on the Searing Totem to deal with me extra damage is super suspicious. What is in Louis it's probably time to play it ridiculously safe, since I just drew that much fuel. Uh, I'd rather not him. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculously safe. I forgot I was a priest for a moment. I could have healed the 2-1 too, of course. I and mean, the 2-1 seems better, given that he's got a 1-1 one, one on the board. But I was so scared from rock biting the face. I should have definitely healed that. I'm done. Can't be targeted is pretty good. That minion is pretty good. Him rock biting my face really threw me for a loop. <laughs> 